But if you cannot communicate your ideas, then the ideas will never see the light of day. It's not enough to have your ideas hidden in a research paper in a library somewhere. You have to get it out into the public so that people understand the value of the research that's going on. And so we're developing activities like the Grad Slam as a way of helping students achieve that skill set. Think of this DNA as a document. And imagine one sentence in this document is missing a key word. So Grad Slam was definitely challenging at first. Since I know my research so well, it's kind of hard to word it in a way that I don't usually or typically would word it, like if I'm writing my thesis. But it was so rewarding when we had the practice sessions and they told us how to walk the stage and how to word things that a general audience can understand. This man merely escaped his home at midnight in a sudden land erosion in the Mekong Delta, my hometown. When I proposed to my professor that I want to join this, he said like, yeah, it's a very good place because this is the first time you articulate what are you writing about? Because I have been writing about this project for a year and a half. And he's asked like, what is your main theme? And I'm still searching for it. So I have to like really rethink what is the most important part? What is the focal point? What do my audience want? So when I do all of this, it actually helped me to enhance the foundation of my thesis. Grad Slam was really surprising and I, I, I gained so much from it, I didn't even realize going in. To me, Grad Slam was a way to have a platform to share my research with a broader audience. That was one, one goal I had. But also the, the practice and the skills I gained working up to this point, right? Like training for this moment, uh, learning how to better present, like having better public speaking skills, um, learning to control eye, just, eye, eye contact and gestures, uh, speaking pace. Those are all skills I'll take with me forever. And so I think that, um, that by itself was well worth the price of admission, which is free. <laughs> this program has been fantastic. We received a lot of video trainings, lots of Zoom opportunities, and lots of feedback opportunities with other members of our cohort, as well as with Cheryl, Amy, Dominique, and everyone else on the Grad Slam team. So it's been really helpful to me to learn the nitty gritties of delivering and communicating something on stage, communicating something to a broad audience, and I really learned a lot. What I do every single day actually ties back to Grad Slam, where taking a year of your research and then condensing it into three minutes. It's pretty much what I do on a daily basis. Now I have two hours of research where I'm looking at all the different maps and then I condense it down into three minutes and I literally use the same story structures that Amy taught me for this competition in my forecast every day. For any students who are in the master's program or in any graduate program, I highly suggest Grad Slam. It's been a great professional development experience and all of the staff and faculty members at San Jose State have been super, super encouraging. And I don't know what I would be doing here without it. I had so much experience, so much fun. I've got to meet a lot of different students. And, but yeah, it's been a very, very great experience.